<laughs> the friend in question just texted me. He said... Oh, he's in a picture. I want to see. <laughs> Come on, all I want's a pee. Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to Guess the Banzuke for Harubasho 2023. On the left we have our draft layout, if you saw our draft video, that'll look familiar to you, and on the right we have our final results. The only thing left to do is talk about it, so let's talk about it. Here we go. Starting at the top. Terunofuji, Takakesho, Wakatakakage, Hoshoryu. They all won, none of them are moving. Cake. Kiribayama, 11 wins. Now, 11 wins at Komasubi is generally considered an expected move to Sekiwake, even if they have to open another slot. At 10 wins, I think they would have given it to him anyway, because otherwise there's just going to be a mess at Komasubi. At 9 wins, with all other things being equal, I think this would have been a really interesting conversation. But as it turns out, he had 11 wins. We absolutely are expecting him to go to Sekiwake 2. That's enough of that. Moving on to Komasubi. Kotonawaka and Wakamoto Haru stay in the same order that they were last time. They both had winning records. They both move up a little bit. Daisho and Tobizaru were flip-flopped at Magashira 1, but Tobizaru went 8-7 and seven at 1 East, so he definitely gets to move up, and Daisho was so far ahead of him mathematically that he's going to get dragged up with him. So Daisho goes in front, having the better record, so he's Komasubi 2 East, to uh, Tobizaru is going to be Komasubi 2 West. As previously mentioned, Tamawashi does not go to Komasubi. He was Magashira 2 West, and a year ago, Ichinojo was Magashira 2 East in a very similar situation. Daisho went 8-7 and seven at Magashira 1 East. Ichinojo was not moved up to Komasubi with him. There's no reason to think Tamawashi's going to go up this time. For 1 West and Magashira 2, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of ties listed here, and I didn't leave Ryuden and Abi in a tie. I don't know why I did that, but... What I think is going to happen is Shodai just moves to Magashira 1 because most of the time Asekiwake with 6 wins goes to Magashira 1. It doesn't make sense to split up Ryuden and Abi so that Shodai goes to Magashira 2 East. And with the Banzuke pretty easy to move around, there's absolutely no reason to shove him all the way down to Magashira 2 West. Now, Ryuden versus Abi. I took it for granted that because the guys with the better records last time were getting priority, that would happen this time. I didn't really think about Joy versus non-Joy, but Ryudin at 5 East was fighting enough guys in the Sanyaku that I don't think that's going to make a difference. But I think in this case, they're going to put him up at 2 East. Abby's just going to get the half rank jump. Bang, bang, Ryudin and Abby done. At Maegashira 3 and 4, I initially thought Matakiyumi might get the priority over Nishikigi. However, I think that's wrong now. I think it was actually a pretty stupid idea to begin with. Nishikigi finished ahead of Matakiyumi and Onisho, who as you can see here are tied, and there's really not a good reason to push him back other than I absolutely positively don't want to see Matakiyumi lose more than one rank. But if that happens, and if what I also think is going to happen, which is that Meisei here is only going to get dropped to Maegashira 4, so a 4 rank drop from Komasubi on 5 and 10, which should be exactly correct mathematically, then Onisho gets bumped back to 4 west, and Matakiyumi already being a rank ahead of a guy that he finished tied with is weird. A rank and a half is too much. I realize that what I'm showing here doesn't make a lot of sense considering all of the do it by the math, do it by the math kind of stuff that I say. But I'm taking a chance here is what it comes down to. I really think that they are just going to be like, okay, Meisei, we're not going to drop you any farther than you're supposed to be dropped. Onosho's getting three and a half ranks. That's good enough for him. They could easily flip-flop. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong here, but I do think those two are going to end up at Maegashira 4. Otoshoho fits in very easily at 5 East. Midori, Fuji, and Endo is where we first see a Joy versus non-Joy comparison. So they're tied right here. I, at first, I had Endo ahead because he had the better record, and again, that's what we were seeing last time. They were unusually prioritizing record over previous rank. But in the one instance where there was Joy versus non-Joy, Ura got priority over Takano and Endo. Now, that was a little bit of a weird circumstance because him and uh, Ichino Joe both did really badly, so they got less of a demotion than they otherwise would have, and then guys got put between Ura 
and Takano Show and Endo, even though all three of those guys were tied by math. So I, I really had set that aside, but I think it's meaningful. If the committee is set up in such a way that they're going to make that differentiation, then there's really no reason to think Endo's going to end up ahead of Midori Fuji. It's kind of a guess this time. It's a really a question. Did the committee change substantially? Should we start expecting different things from them than we've seen the last couple years? Or was last Basho just a one-off in a lot of ways? This time, I'm going to say Midori Fuji gets priority. He only drops to 5 west, Endo to 6 east. That all seems very fair. We move on. Okuno Fuji at 6 west and Saranomi at 7 east. There's really no one else to fight for those spots. They slot in very nicely. Takiyasu at 7 west is where it gets interesting. Without this, Ura doesn't get a demotion. And what we've seen is that they kind of don't like letting guys not get demotions, if at all possible, when they should get something. But there's also a question of, if they don't put Takiyasu in here, where does he go? The over here, Ichiyamamoto and Aoyama are tied, and the Miyogiryu and Hirudumi are tied. Is there a reason to put Takiyasu behind Ichi and Aoyama, but in front of Hirudumi and Miyogiryu? If there is, I can't figure out what, other than, we feel this is where he should go. And if they put him behind Aoyama, Ichiyamamoto, Miyogiryu, and Hirudumi, well now he's looking to land down at Maegashira 10. And I don't think they're going to drop him that far. By math, if you take away that one rank, because he's Sanyaku, this is why I have the 12 asterisk. The asterisk is a reminder he was in Sanyaku, and the even number is kind of a reminder as well, because normally it's odd. So from Sakiwake, he should go down to Maegashira 11 mathematically. Maegashira 10 is only a rank or a half a rank less than the math says, and they don't like to give guys that big of a drop coming out of Sakiwake with a terrible record, especially if they were hurt. That's what they've shown over time. I think they're going to stick to it, and the most logical place to put him is 7 West. Once we have Ura bumped to 8 East, then it's Ichiyamamoto and Aoyama. Aoyama, if he falls behind Ichi, he still gets his rank increase on 8 and 7, and Ichiyamamoto goes with what we saw last time, where the winning record got priority over the guy who had the higher rank in the previous Basho. Ichi goes to 8 West, Aoyama 9 East. Now, Miyogiryu and Hirudaumi, well, Spiffy, what the fuck, man? You just said that the guy with the better record is going to get priority. Why didn't you do that here? I could be wrong. I could very easily be wrong. The only reason I have Miyogiryu in front is because if Hirudaumi goes in front, Miyogiryu gets over demoted by half a rank. And over the long course of history, over the long arc of history, what we've noticed is that if there's any general tendency that the committees have, no matter who's on it, they try not to over demote. Above all else, their goal seems to be not to over demote guys unless they absolutely don't have a choice. That's the only reason I'm leaving Miyogiryu in front of Hirudaumi. Again, this one could be wrong, and it would be pretty telling if it was. Once those are decided, Nishiki Fuji, Azumaru, and Takano Sho all fall into place. Kagiyaki ends up not taking a drop because there just isn't anyone to push in front of him. And then we get to the bottom, and this is where the really interesting shit starts to happen. Yeah, I have Takara Fuji going all the way up from Maegashira 16 East to 12 West. And I have Oho only dropping to 13 East. Why? This gets a little bit complicated, and it has to do with how they prioritize guys who were in Maegashira versus guys who were in Jurio in the previous Basho and are getting promoted. So you'll see in the draft that right now I have Oho below Kotoeko, below Daishoho, below Kinbozan. Why did I move him up? It wasn't because I thought he had earned a higher rank. It was just the way I thought they were going to approach the Banzuke. I made a mistake on the draft, I think. And the mistake was this. Daishoho was mathematically at 13 West. And in the draft, I put him to 13 East. But I don't think they're going to move any Jurio promotees above the rank they mathematically calculate to unless there's absolutely no choice. And in this case, there is a choice. If Takara Fuji goes to 12 West, you still have Oho that you can drop in at 13 East and keep the Jurio promotees from going up too far. Furthermore, I left Daishoho behind Kotoeko because Kotoeko mathed out to Magashira 14 West and Daishoho to 13 West. 
I believe that the calculation differential required for a guy from Jurio to move ahead of a guy who had been in Maigashira is two ranks. Daishoho was two ranks ahead of Oho, but he's only one ahead of Kodoeko. So I think Kodoeko stays ahead of Daishoho. Oho moves ahead of Daishoho only by chance. This isn't earned. He's only going there because he is the only guy who could go there. That's it. Once we have Kodoeko not moving and Daishoho at 14 East, Kinbozan was already a half a rank behind Daishoho. That works out exactly the way it should. Then as we can see, Chiyoshoma and Surugisho were mathematically at 16 East. Bushozan, see what I have here is just where the draft was. Mathematically, he would have gone from Jurio 1 West to Maigashira 14 West. That's a rank and a half ahead of Chiyoshoma and Surugisho, so he ends up behind them. And we go bing, bing, bing. Mitoryu, however, being a half rank behind Chiyo and Surugisho is two ranks behind Bushozan. So Bushozan gets ahead of him. Now, this one here, I could very easily be wrong about as well. They could say, hey, well, Mitoryu was in Maigashira. Let's just keep it simple and put the guys from Jurio behind all the guys from Makauchi, except for the ones who absolutely have to go in front. And Bushozan really doesn't have to. Plus, Bushozan was a half rank ahead of Hokuseiho with the same record. So, you know, that works out nice and cleanly. The guys at 16 that I have here could flip, no question. But I just think they're gonna say, fuck it. Who shows on ahead of Matoryu, give Matoryu his full rank drop, and then Hokuseiho ends up at the bottom. And then, of course, we watch Asano Yama win another fucking Jurio Yusho and end up at, like, Maigashira 7 next time. And there you go. That's our Banzuke guess for Haru 2023. Let's see just how fucked we are in a week. We'll be back then with the Banzuke breakdown. For now, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.